Have you ever wondered how native Japanese speakers learned tons of kanji, use it, and differentiate those? In this video, I'm gonna share why you can't memorize kanji and how to memorize kanji easier. Here we go. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm a trainee and professional Japanese teacher. So, if you're new to here, I help people to learn a new language, especially Japanese language, with my psychology and language technologies to hack your learning efficiency to learn fast in your learning style. So, consider subscribing. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking in these orders. Number one, how native Japanese speakers learned kanji at school. Number two, how native Japanese speakers differentiate kanji. Number three, a new approach to memorize kanji. From four and five, I'm gonna explain on the next video, but number four, how to memorize kanji in your learning style. And number five, bonus tip. All right, let's just dive in. Number one, how native Japanese speakers learned kanji at school. I'm explaining the details in this video, so if you wanna know more, you can check this video out. But let me share about this real quick. So we've learned kanji in a certain orders. So one, how to read, and two, meanings, and three, how the kanji is structured, and lastly, practice writing. I assume you try to memorize kanji by practice writing over and over again, but it's actually not enough to memorize kanji because if you draw on a thing, like, like an apple, do you actually draw in a certain orders or do you have any preferences when you start drawing in an apple? And do you regularly draw on an apple or something else? That's what I'm talking about. You need to memorize the kanji stroke orders as well. It's like cooking. You need right ingredients to make a thing. For example, you need right ingredients to bake a cake. Ingredients, which is radicals, and other parts. Number two, how native Japanese speakers differentiate kanji. There's lots of similar kanjis, and if you think it's difficult to differentiate those when you see the kanji, maybe you capture kanji as in an image. Like A spot the difference game. You need a time to look for the difference, right? But if you made these images, do you need a time to look for the difference? Or if you already know the answer, do you need to take a time to figure it out? We all learned kanji part by part. That's why we can write kanji easier and differentiate similar kanji easier. And this leads to the next tip. But before we jump into the next tip, smash the like button if you've been getting value out of this video. Alright, tip number three, a new approach to memorize kanji. So we native Japanese speakers learn the kanji at school starting by simple structure kanji and then move to the complex structures. And also, in my class, I've learned lyrics to memorize a kanji. Let me share one of those. So in the traditional way, Mongamae, Onyomi, Kam, Kunyomi, Seki. Kakawaru, Kankei, Sekisho, Kakawari, and practice writing. This is how we learn through on the kanji drill, but when we try to memorize kanji for the kanji test at the school, we try to memorize kanji by writing on a notebook with a wallet. Okay, the next is new approach to memorize kanji. There is a flag and one the other side. There is grasses, ground, ground, two roots, done. 
or red and blue. Listen how I write. When I was a child, I used to make a quiz for other people to let them figure out what I'm writing by sound. So, if you're interested, you can try that. Right now, here's the question of the day. What makes you think learning kanji is difficult? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't want to miss out opportunity for my special offers and more tips and lessons, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Arigatou.